Hey everyone, welcome back. Your eyes do not deceive you. This is indeed a tutorial on the Death Star. And this is the very first and probably one of the very few builds that I made in the brand new one to uh, 5,000 scale. Actually, I was going to say 1,000, but that's this one. Um, so yes, one to 5,000, a very interesting scale. Um, I was originally going to make this just in no scale, just do it by eye. Um, but I thought, you know, if we ever make a Death Star 2, I want it to scale with it. So I picked a scale that I think works, um, and 1 to 5,000 was like the closest thing where you can still capture a lot of detail, but also um, it's still kind of doable as a tutorial. It will be a long one, and I will say straight away, it's going to be a very, very boring build. So if you get bored easily, this might not be the one for you. This build will be available in my web store as an instant download. Um, so that will be linked in the description um, if you don't fancy the tutorial process. Uh, because there's going to be a lot of building, um, just round circles. We are going to use the layer system. This is one of those builds where I just tried to figure out a good way we could do it. Um, obviously, with it being a giant kind of spherical shape, um, if there was a way other than the layer system. I did try a few things, but yeah, layers ended up just being the best way. The build is actually asymmetrical in all directions. Um, so like the top and bottom parts of the dome, uh, which are split by the hemisphere here, they're completely different. Um, and then like left to right is different and then also front to back is different as well so it's going to be a very very long time consuming process um, definitely going to be a few hours um, ignore this on the left here the, the, we, we were tinkering with the actual firing mechanism for that but I'll show that off uh, another time uh, because it won't be part of the tutorial you do have this kind of mock up of the of the beam here which uh, in shaders lo looks good. It looks just as good in um, normal vanilla Minecraft uh, shaders as well. Don't worry about that. Um, you can see all these like lines here with the smooth stone. That's kind of like the paneling, detailing. Obviously, like I said, you've got the uh, the hemisphere here down the middle. Um, there would be an another one, I think, uh, up here at the top and then maybe one down here as well. Um, and I've tried to represent those as best as I could. But yeah, um, like I said, it's going to be a very long and tedious process, so please bear with me. Um, but we will start with layer number one and just work our way up, really. Uh, the first layer is going to be kind of half off the ground, as you can see, in a little gap down there. Um, just because I think the, the height ended up being about... I uh, can't think it would be about uh, 32 or 33 blocks tall. Um, yeah, it'll be 30, 32 blocks tall. Um, so that's why I've got a slab on top and slab on bottom. So yeah, anyway, let's kick the build off. Um, so I think the way we'll do it is kind of building, if I just uh, knock this out here, from kind of that middle block there down the middle, um, and then we just kind of build outwards each time on each layer, probably do the front left first, the back left, then the right um, back, and then right front, kind of like we did in the old Millennium Falcon tutorial from 2019, I think. So yeah, anyway, let's kick off on to layer one. All right, so layer number one is incredibly easy, um, which is just a, a sign for the, the awful process up ahead, but it's just uh, stone brick slabs, and you just need uh, uh, nine of these top half. Now, I'm using my tutorial pad here, um, but you can build this anyway. You can build this in space or anything. Um, you just need to do a, a three by three like this but with top half slabs remember to do them top half don't do bottom half ones so if you are building on the ground you will have half a block underneath um, but that's just part of the building process um, going forwards it will be like asymmetrical um, green line here marks the front of the build red line here marks the back so that you know which way we're building I've also recently added these uh, convenient arrows to show you where the front is which is obviously that way and yeah that way so let's move on to layer two, where things start to get a little bit more tricky. So to start layer two off, you'll need these materials. Smooth stone, polished andesite, cyan terracotta, polished andesite slab, stone slab, and stone brick slab. Plus, I'm using a block here down the very middle. Uh, I'm going to build that all the way up to the top. Um, I'm using diamond just because it sticks out, but you can use anything you want if you're in survival. Um, even like wood or something works. Um, so yeah, I start with a single one of these blocks and they'll call it like a sort of temporary block if you will because um, we will delete it at the end of the build anyway um, but yeah it's just there for your convenience now 
the only blocks that we're going to place on this layer are actually outside of where this uh, stone brick square is that we did before. So on the front left here, we're going to do three in a row like that. So remembering this is the width rather than the length. Do two there like that. Two there like that with the uh, smooth stone full block. Two here, one there. Polished andesite. Polished andesite here. Polished andesite on the left of that one. And then cyan terracotta on the right of that one. Okay. Take the polished andesite slab again, just here. This is a top half one. And then two of the stone brick slabs top half. Okay, so we're now coming round to the, the back. This is where the red line is here. Another smooth stone block. Two cyan. Uh, a smooth stone here and then a polished. And then on this set of three that we've just done, there's going to be a stone slab on the left, stone brick slab in the middle, polished underside slab top half on the uh, one there. You should have this so far. Smooth stone again. One, two, and then one there at a corner like that. Two polished here, two cyan, and then two smooth stone, two again, and then an extra two are going to go just there like that. Polished underside full block in this gap, and then here with the slabs this is going to be a polished one top half, um, polished one next to the cyan, and then a stone brick one there. So we're right at the front now, two cyan, one smooth stone, stone slab on the left, and then two stone brick slabs on the right. Then you should have this shape. And that's it for layer number two, let's move on to layer number three. Right, layer number three, we need pretty much the same materials, um, there may be one or two extra ones, but not worth getting anything, anything out in a minute. Um, take the temporary block to begin with, um, so the block of diamond I'm using again, but again up to you. One on top of the one we did before, and then what we're going to do here is skip a block on each angle, so one there, like that, one there, one there, and one there, and then skip another block and place one again. So it should look like this. Um, the reason we do that is just to work out how far away from the center point the kind of next part of the ring we're going to make is. So there we go. Um, we'll start with the front left again. We're going to do two smooths down here. Um, just do two at the back as well like that. Two forwards. One there, one there. One over this gap. The polished underside. One, two, three, one to the right. Cyan in this gap, so you can see it kind of corners at that one, and then smooth down here and here. Okay, take the polished underside slab, we're going to put that on the polished underside block, top half again. Anytime on this bottom section I say slab, the chances are, unless I say otherwise, it's going to be top half. Um, so just go with the flow, really. <laughs> we need the stone full block actually, that's why I didn't add. Uh, the stone full block just goes here. Stone brick slab there, polished andesite block here, stone slab there, stone brick, stone slab. That was a stone brick slab, by the way, not stone brick. Um, okay, next up, smooth stone, one, two, three, four, one there next to the diamond block, polished andesite here, and we're going to do a polished andesite slab on this right smooth stone. Stone slab here, and then just do an extra stone slab to the right, so it looks like that. To the back left now, polished andesite, one, two, three. Smooth stone, one, two, three, four. And then cyan, one, two, three, four, like that. Smooth stone there, smooth stone there. Stone slab top half next to the cyan. Uh, stone brick slab, top half next to this cyan here. Polished andesite full block. Two polished full blocks here like that. And then smooth stone, we're going to do one, cyan, two, three. So we're now moving over to that side. Before we go any further though, we're just going to add a polished andesite slab here. Stone slab, 
and then a stone brick one. So again, you can see we've done this side here. We're now moving over to that. And remember just to keep making sure that kind of this line here follows this line um, on the video. Obviously, you'll, you'll have this line in your build, but not this one. Um, I mean, you're welcome to create like lines and stuff beforehand if you want to. Um, I mentioned, I think in the last video, I'm uh, thinking about making this tutorial pad able to download. And then obviously, if you want to use it on like a world download or anything, um, you can just obviously follow exactly what I do then. And then you don't have to like build it in space or anything. I'm not explaining it very well, but yeah. Obviously, this tutorial pad is pretty large and then you got your directional arrows and things like that. Just stuff to help you out with the build, really. So let me know if you want to do, if you do want to see it as a download and I will look into doing that. Um, two cyan blocks here. Smooth stone. Polished there and there. Um, smooth stone here and then a stone slab top half. Now I'm just going to jump to this uh, right hand side here. Take the cyan, do one, two. Polish, we're going to do one, two, and then forward one. And then with the smooth stone now, that's two, three, two, and one there. Followed by two polished andesite full blocks and a polished andesite slab just there. That finishes off the back right section. Um, taking the stone brick slab here, this front smooth stone, one stone slab, stone brick slab. Again with the smooth stone now, one, two, three, four, and one there. Stone brick slab here. Cyan, one, two, three. Polish there. And then this is a row of smooth stone. It just starts there and then goes all the way across, joins up with that one. Stone slab here, top half again, polished andesite, and then a smooth stone in that gap. And that should do it for layer number, uh, what are we even on now? Three, <laughs> layer number three. Yeah, so let's move on up to layer number four. Right, so layer number four. Um, I'm going to slightly change something with the process here. So we did these like extended ones outwards with the diamond block. I'm going to actually use a different temporary block. So I'm going to switch those out for yellow wool. Like this. So then it's just that central column that is the diamond blocks because on the next layer up, which is obviously this one layer four, put a diamond block there. This time, instead of doing the uh, temporary blocks outwards already, we're gonna actually connect them around like that. So I'm gonna use the diamond just on that middle one and then yellow on everything else. And then we're gonna do the same thing again with the skipping one. So like skip one there, skip one there, skip one there. Um, and that's essentially how many you want to have is three singular ones and then this like cross shape in the middle. So again, one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. And again, one, two, three like that. All right. So we're getting a <laughs> nice bit of color in there, I suppose. It's a very gray build, so it's nice to just have an extra bit of, like I said, color to uh, make it a bit different. Polished underside, we're going to go to the very front here, so green line. Polished underside, one, two, and then three across that center line there. We need to get out the smooth stone slab, and there's going to be one, two, three of them there. Stone block. Um, in fact, do a polished underside just there like that, so a diagonal. Then stone block, one, two, three. Two there, two there. This is a stone slab here, stone brick slab here. Another stone brick slab there, and then a polished andesite block. Stone block above that gap. And then stone block one, two, three. Stone slab here, and then polished andesite slab here. Two polished blocks, uh, two stone blocks, and then polished andesite. Stone again, polished again. Over this gap here, there's two polished andesite. And then we're just going to add these slabs here before we go any further. So three smooth stone slabs. And we've already done all the other ones on this uh, front uh, left half. Coming to the back here now with the stone block. We're going to do one there, two, three, four. 
polished andesite to the left of that last one. And then with the stone block again, uh, have I done that right? Actually, hang on, let me check. Oh, there's uh, another stone block and then another polished. There we go. So it should be like this. Stone block here, one, two, three, four. Then it's polished, stone, polished, stone, and polished again. And we're just going to leave that bit there because we're not moving on to that part yet. Um, polished andesite slab, stone slab here, stone brick one, normal stone one, and then a stone brick one again should take you up to the back. Three top half smooth stone slabs. So you can see these smooth stone slabs each time should line up kind of with the line in the center, which is what we've got here. Uh, polished andesite in that gap, stone there. Then we need two stone, two again, um, two again, and then one. Stone brick slab is going to go there. Stone slab, polished, polished slab, and again, stone brick slab just on the end. Two stone there, one down. Polished andesite on that left gap. Polished andesite to the right here. You should have met this uh, wall block now. One, two, with the stone. And again with the smooth stone slabs, one, two, three. Right, normal stone, one, two, three, four. One to the right, one down. One to the right, one down. And then a cyan in this gap. Normal stone block here. Two polished there, two polished there, stone in that gap. That's all the four blocks for this one, so we'll just finish off with the slabs now. One, two with the stone brick slabs, a third one, and then a stone slab here. Um, oh, actually, no, I've done that wrong. The first one's a stone slab, and then there's three of the stone brick ones, and then another stone one, so it's like that. Okay, so again, that should be everything for layer number four. Let's move on up to layer number five. All right, okay, for layer number five, you'll notice the yellow lines have gone. Um, what I'm going to do is basically delete those yellow lines after we've done each layer, just so it doesn't get too confusing on the eyes. Um, so start with another diamond block or whatever right in the middle, um, and then we'll grab the temporary block back. This time, we're going to actually start with a gap just there, and then that's going to be a second one like that, three, and four and then again one two three and four so you should be left just before this slab here again one two three four one two three four so just to make sure you got that right remembering we're not making like a, a direct connection with the block this time we're leaving a gap of one uh, before we start building so front left Stone block, starting the, on top of the smooth stone slab. There's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Diagonal and do another one. Stone slab there. Um, is it six actually? Let me. Oh no, it's uh, five. Sorry. So the three above there, two here, and then this is a stone slab just there like that. Polished andesite block there, diagonal, diagonal again, diagonal and do two stone blocks, and this is a, a stone brick slab top half. Polished andesite here, stone, stone, and then polished just down that center line. We're going to need some stairs this layer, but we'll get them out in a second. Um, we'll do all the slabs first and get them out of the way. Um, You'll notice as we get further into the middle, um, like before we were making like quite thick layers where it was three or four blocks thick. Um, the layers now are going to get wider and longer, but less thickness in the walls. So it's kind of a trade off really. Shouldn't be any more difficult. Might just take a little bit longer. Uh, polished andesite there. Stone. Uh, no, that's not even right. Hang on. There's a uh, polished andesite there and then a stone. Stone slab, top half, obviously. 
two stone blocks. Diagonal stone, diagonal again stone. Diagonal this time polished andesite. One more stone block. Top half stone slab. Polished andesite. Stone, polished stone. And then two polished there. So I'm going to quickly bring in some new materials. We'll need the polished andesite stairs, the stone brick stairs. Um, we will need the andesite stairs as well. This is the only appearance of the normal andesite, I think, um, is when we're doing stairs. Originally, I did have to build um, using andesite as well as stone, but I just thought it's just going to complicate the thing way too much. So I did end up taking that out. Um, you're welcome to add andesite back into the mix. Um, but yeah, it just makes it really overly complicated. So on the front here, obviously we've got down to the center line. Um, I'm just going to add one more stone block to the right. Um, so you should have the polished in the middle. Two upside down stone brick stairs and then a upside down uh, polished andesite stair on the left. On this one here, polished stair on the left, normal andesite stairs and then stone brick stairs. And then on the very back, just three upside down polished, uh, sorry, normal andesite stairs. Okay. Right, so we'll do the right hand side now. Uh, starting from the back, there's going to be a stone block just there. Um, a stone brick slab, if we grab that, there we go, just there. Stone block here, polished there. Diagonal, do a stone. Diagonal stone again. Diagonal stone again. And a polished andesite. Stone slab there. Then this is stone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll just do these stairs and get them out of the way. There's a andesite one next to this slab. And then two upside down stone brick stairs next to that. Polished andesite slab there. Normal stone. Normal polished. Diagonal stone. Diagonal polished this time. Diagonal Cyan Terracotta, the only time it appears on this layer. Normal polished there. Uh, stone brick slab just here. Polish there, and then one more stone. And that will do it for this layer. So let's move on up to layer number two, three, four, five, number six. Okay, so for this one, you can actually uh, put away most of your four blocks. We just need the stairs and slabs, really. Um, the main full block on this layer is the smooth stone, um, so it must be kind of a, a big panel that wraps around or something, I don't know. But yeah, diamond block on top of the middle column as usual. Um, I meant to delete these but I didn't, so I'm going to do that real quick. Um, this time we are going to build directly next to the column, so it's just like this, one, two, three, four. And then from each side you want four separated ones, so one there, two, three and four one two three and four you should just come up one short of the um of the edge there and again three and four so just like that so with the smooth stone we'll do this and get this all out of the way and um, we're going to do three there and i'm just going to do it on all sides here actually because it is all just smooth stone so it is symmetrical technically so you've got three on each side like that. We're going to add two to each one. Two again, two again, two again, two here. And then there's going to be a set of two like this. So um, just double check something. Uh, one, two, one, two. And then a one, one, one on its own. So two, two, one, 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 two, two, one, one, and one. So it's all working nicely. So there we go. Right, now for details on the left hand side, um, you need the stairs here. Um, or should I do this? Uh, yeah, I'll do the stairs all at once and I'll do the slabs after. So taking the stone brick stairs on this middle line here, upside down again, all of them, andesite slab to the right, stone brick slab to the right of that, 
and then two polished andesite stairs to the left. One andesite stair there. And then to this side here, it's a stone brick stair. We'll go to the back and do these ones. So there's a polished stair in the middle, down that center line. Stone brick stair on the left and right. On the left here, there's an andesite stair. On the right, there's a polished stair. Um, and then on this one here, it's a stone brick stair. And on this one here, it's a polished stair. On this side, um, andesite stair down that middle line. Stone brick stair on each side. And then polished stair on each side again. On this front one here, it's a polished stair. On the back one here, it's an andesite stair. And then on the very front, um, one andesite stair in the middle, one to the right. Stone brick stair here. Polished stair to the left. Another andesite stair to the left. You should have this so far. Right, get back to your left hand side view here. We're going to do the slabs now. Um, we need the. Oh, we use andesite slabs. I thought it was just stairs, but we used the slab as well. Um... Oh, no, we don't. Actually, I'm looking at the stair. No, we don't use the andesite slab. Forget what I said. So there's uh, four slabs on each of these corners here. The first one is here. That's a stone one. Remembering this is the back left. Stone, stone, polished, stone brick. Back right now, we're going to do stone brick, stone brick, stone and stone. Front left um, is going to be a stone one. Stone again, stone again, and polished. Um, oh, I forgot to do these stairs here, actually. The right one is a stone brick one. Left is a polished. Um, and then front left for the uh, slabs now. We're going to start at the left-hand side here. Do a stone slab. Stone brick, stone brick, polished. And again, that's going to be it for that layer. So let's uh, move on up to the next one. Okay, we're going to start this one uh, down at the pillar here. Just add the next one up. Put that away for now. Grab our temporary blocks. This time we are building away from the pillar. So just like that with a separated block each time. Um, and then this time we want to have five separated ones in total. So that's the first one. Second third, fourth, and fifth. So again, it takes you just one block short of the edge. And the reason I keep doing this every layer, despite the fact I could probably get away with just measuring manually, just so that you, if you'd followed this, you know that you're building kind of um, in line with what I've got. And then if one of these comes short of the edge, then maybe something's been missed off. And um, so it's good to just keep reference reference in this every layer um, so that you don't uh, end up having to redo like a few hours worth of work. There we go, that's the fire, uh, four things outwards um, done. Uh, so building again towards the left hand side here, we need the stone block. We need one uh, next to the block here, two to the left and one to the front side. Polished andesite full block, one and two. There, sorry. Um, stone block diagonal and do two. Diagonal again and do one stone block. Polished andesite here. Diagonal and do stone again. Diagonal and do two stone. Diagonal two stone. Diagonal one stone here. This time I'm going to do a smooth stone full block. And then three polished andesite that should take you to just that middle line plus one block here. Come to the left. Polished goes there. Two stone blocks at a diagonal. One polished at a diagonal and a stone. One stone singular. And then two polished andesite there. Diagonal again, do one polished, one stone. Diagonal, <laughs> diagonal again, do two stone. And then three polished again. That should take you to just that middle line plus one extra block. Okay, so we're actually going to do, I think, the rest of the full blocks here. And then we'll do again the stairs and slabs afterwards. Um, just makes it easy on the inventory swapping. So two stone there, diagonal two stone again. Uh, diagonal one stone here. Um, oh, in fact, now make that another one. Diagonal again, one stone. Diagonal this time, two polished andesite. Diagonal two stone. And then diagonal one, two, three stone blocks, 
followed by a polished andesite right along this line here. Three stone blocks, diagonal two, diagonal two polished this time, diagonal one stone, one stone, one polished, one polished, one stone. And then this is just uh, one and two stone blocks like that. So you can see the outline. Now we've just got to do some uh, stair building and slab building as well. We'll do the slabs and get these out of the way. Um, so we need the stone brick one back as well. To start just here, we need a polished andesite slab. This is the back left, by the way. In fact, we'll start on the front just to not confuse anyone. Um, so stone slab there. Stone slab here as well, and then on the front left here as well, another polished, another one there. Um, so we've done that one already, the polished andesite slab, second one here. There's going to be a stone brick one uh, just there, so where these two andesite are at a diagonal, and another stone brick one here. Over to this side, polished andesite slab there, stone slab here. Um, polished andesite slab there, stone brick slab here, stone brick slab here, stone slab there, and then we're finally getting around to the front end here, stone, stone brick like that. Okay, now in terms of stairs, we want to put a polished andesite one here on the very front, andesite stairs on the left and right, remembering that's down the center line. Apologies if you heard a door knocking there, that completely broke my focus. Uh, where were we? Um, oh yeah, so here polished andesite stairs right down the middle. Andesite stairs on the left and right. Um, on the back end here, red line. Um, stone brick stairs in the middle. Polished andesite stairs on the left. Normal andesite stairs on the right. And this one over here, just a polished andesite stairs in the middle. Stone brick stairs on the left and right. And that's going to be it for that layer. So let's move on up to... Uh, I can't remember what we're on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are we on layer eight? I think. Maybe. You'll see in the title card anyway. Um, let's move on to that. Right for this one, start off uh, over here. We actually don't need many of the stairs this time. Um, we're just going to keep the, the other bits. We need to introduce a new material, which is the iron bars. Um, we're going to add another on top of our pillar. This time, we are doing it next to it. Again, I forgot to remove those, but oh well, it's fine. There we go. I assume it will just come up to one short like it did before um, of the edge. So again, this time we're going to do five separated blocks. So one, um, so this is one separated block. Don't count this one here. Two, three, four, and five. So yeah, it just takes you to there. Um, again, one, two, three, four, and five. Again, one, two, three, four. Four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Right. So let's start again at the front left of the build. Um, I'm going to take the stone block. Get rid of that now as well. Stone block there, and on the left and right of it. And we're going to do three iron bars on the very front here. Um, on this block here, stone. Polish to the left, stone to the right, and again three iron bars there. Gonna add two stone blocks. Diagonal, do two. Diagonal, two again. Come to this one. Add a smooth stone block and a stone block. Diagonal, do a stone and then a polished. Diagonal, two stone. Diagonal, one stone here. Diagonal, polished there. Pretty simple. Polished andesite slab just here. Um, we're going to add a stone brick slab just here. Stone slab there. And a stone brick slab just there as well. So for the uh, back left half now, taking the polished andesite full block. One, two stone on the left. Three iron bars. Uh, stone block just here. Polished. And then we'll do the stone brick slab top half. Polished to the right, stone, polished andesite slab top half, polished there, stone, diagonal stone, diagonal stone, diagonal stone again, diagonal polished, stone block there, 
stone brick slab here. Two more stone blocks. And I, uh, I feel like I've made a mistake here, actually. Yeah, I've done too many stone blocks. So that's actually a polished there stone block here. And then we'll just start with a stone brick slab, two stone blocks, and then a stone slab just there. And this one here is just a smooth stone full block. Replace that with a polished andesite. Okay. Uh, right hand side now. Need a polished there. Stone block, stone slab, stone, stone to the right, stone slab. Two polished, diagonal polished, diagonal polished, diagonal two stone like this. Polished slab top half, two stone, stone brick slab top half, two more polished, one stone, polished stone. I really am getting fed up of saying the word polished. Three iron bars there. <laughs> polished underside here, stone block, stone brick slab, one, two with the stone, stone brick slab again, one with the stone, one with the polished underside. Diagonal polished andesite. This time we need the cyan terracotta, just one of them again. Just there. Diagonal polished andesite. Stone. Stone brick slab top half. Two more stone here. Polished andesite slab top half. And then two more stone there to finish that off. And that's it for that layer. Let's move on up to the next one. Uh, just for context, we are about uh i don't know two thirds of the way maybe just under two thirds of the way um to reaching the halfway point um which is interesting but yeah let's move on up to the next layer okay for this one start off with the column in the middle you can also use this i realize to count how many layers up you are so we're on layer nine now um obviously you just have to count the the uh slab at the bottom as well as a, as a block. Um, so yeah, this is layer nine. We need the yellow wool or whatever block you're using. Uh, this time we are away from the pillar and we're gonna do six separated ones. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. So it should take you up to just before the iron bars there. Again, like that. One, two, three, Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So again, uh, front left, polished underside there. We'll do a stone block on the very front here. Two, smooth stone, polished underside slab. We're using the stairs a lot less now um, because the main taper with the stairs was here. We're using more walls and stuff now to um, kind of build up towards the middle point. But we haven't introduced walls yet. We'll do that um, next layer, I think. Polished andesite and stone. Uh, top half polished slab. Uh, stone block just here. Make that a... Uh, let me just check them in the right place here. Mm. Yeah, so stone block there. Oh, I guess they just go straight up. So it's stone there, stone there, and then polished here. Um, wait, hang on. Right, I'm going to go back to this bit a second. I'm going to add three stone blocks here. Polished, uh, sorry, stone brick slab top half. Polished one, two, polished slab top half, and then two stone blocks there. All right, so this should be a polished on the site here. Stone there, uh, stone block. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Um, yeah, this this bit over here, just delete to there. And um, we'll do it from this side. So stone block here, diagonal again, stone. This is two stone here, polished andesite slab top half. Normal stone block, polished andesite, polished andesite slab. And then this is another stone block here, which I forgot just after the smooth stone. Okay, um, back left now, stone block smooth, stone block, stone brick, 
too polished here and a slab too polished here diagonal um, do polished diagonal polished again diagonal stone this time diagonal polished again stone behind it polished slab normal polished stone block here stone brick slab top half and then we're on the back row now two stone one polished there two stone one polished again one stone and one stone slab so the uh, second stone here should be in line with the middle of the build stone block there polished and slab stone block here full block polished stone diagonal polished diagonal stone diagonal stone diagonal uh, polished there stone polished stone normal stone slab and then four stone blocks should take you up to the line here polished andesite and two stone polished andesite slab Four block of polished andesite, stone to the right, stone slab to the right, stone block, stone block, diagonal stone, diagonal stone, diagonal cyan again. You see this line of cyan here we have. Um, so yeah, diagonal two stone here, slab, stone again, polished on top of the polished slab, stone brick slab there, stone block, smooth stone. And polished andesite and that is going to be it for that layer so let's move on up to the next one okay for the next one up take the uh, column block same as before this time using our temporary block we are going to build away from the center so just like this um, this time we want to have uh, again six of the temporary blocks so that's one two three four five and six just like that one two three well four technically uh, five and six two three four five and six and once more two three four five and six okay so once more we'll start at the front left we need a polished and site block uh, just, I just rearrange some stuff there. Polish block just there. Stone block you can do one, two, three here along that center line. Three stone blocks, two polished, diagonal stone, diagonal two stone, diagonal stone again, diagonal stone again, two stone here, overhanging that one. One stone just there, diagonal stone here. Two polished and then this is a smooth stone block just there above the smooth stones uh, block from before can uh, put the iron bars away for now we want to grab the andesite wall um, and there's gonna be three of them along the front here three of them along the side here first I'm just gonna place another stone block so you can do that there we go and um, the only other two things on this front section we need to do are some stone brick and andesite stairs stone brick stairs are going to go just here like that um, so yeah and then the andesite one is going to go this side same deal just there like that to this side here now smooth stone two stone blocks one polished stone block here we want the polished andesite stair facing outwards just there like that two polished stone block stone block stone block there all the diagonals polished andesite here polished andesite there and a upside down polished stair diagonal do a stone block and we're going to bring this all the way across to the center line um, and we're also going to add an extra uh, one two and three um, then a polished and then a stone okay just quickly take the andesite walls here 
three along the back. One stone there. Polished facing outwards, upside down. Stairs. Stone block. Polished. Diagonal. Stone. Diagonal. Polished. Diagonal. Two stone like that. Stone brick stairs upside down. Polished block. Diagonal stone once more. Um, this time I'm going to do uh, one, two, so that's two in total, three, four, five, six. Polished, 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 two stone. Once more, we're going to take those andesite walls. One, two, three. Andesite, polished, um, upside down stairs here, normal andesite ones. Stone, polished, diagonal. Uh, polished there, diagonal stone, diagonal stone again. Polished here, and uh, upside down, and the side stairs there like that. Stone block, diagonal, two stone, polished smooth stone. And once more, that does it for that layer. That was layer 10. Uh, layer 17 is the uh, hemisphere trench. Um, so we've got, you know, another six layers before that. And then obviously we do all this again, but top half. Should be a little bit easy because there's not so much um, upside down building. Um, but we also do have to account for the super weapon itself. Um, so it will be a little bit different. But yeah, it's looking looking nice so far. Obviously it's just a big dish at the moment. Um, like it, as in something you'd eat soup out of. Uh, um, if you want to use it for that purpose, giant bowl of soup, you know, leave it like this, I guess. Um, but for any of you wanting a Death Star, let's carry on with the build. We're going to move on to the next layer up, uh, which is layer number 11. So let's go. Okay, start off with the column block again there. Um, this time we are going to build directly next to it, the um, little bits coming outwards. Um, so obviously start with the inside ones there. And then this time we want to have again six coming outwards from that. Um, so there's one there, singular on its own, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, that should take you just before those cobblestone walls there. Uh, sorry, not cobblestone, uh, andesite walls. And again, just there, same again here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the last one just over here, one, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. Right, so front left here, um, taking the stone block, first of all, one and two on the left side. Then there's a smooth stone block next to it, and a stone slab top half just there. Stone block, one, two, three, polished andesite, diagonal, and do a stone, diagonal, polished andesite, diagonal, polished andesite, stone, stone polished three stone here and a polished on the side there um and then a stone brick slab top half just here two stone blocks three polished and one stone slab like that okay come back to here we're going to take the andesite walls and the iron bars um so just here next to this stone block, there's going to be an andesite wall. On this side, same thing again. You want to do it just past this andesite, uh, polished andesite four block. One wall, one wall again, one wall there, and then one iron bars to finish that off. Uh, back left, the stone blocks. One, two, three. Polished andesite there. Diagonal stone. Polished stone. 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 And then one final stone as well. Two polished andesite there, one stone block and one polished. Top half stone brick slab here. And then we're just going to do again the andesite walls. One, two, three, four, one iron bars in the middle. Four block of polished stone and then polished, which should be on the middle line now. Polished again, stone, top half stone brick slab. Polished there, stone, one, two, three. Diagonal polished, um, five single stones diagonal, one, two, three, four, and five. 
diagonal once more, do two stone, one polished, one stone. And then we'll do the um, walls and the iron bar there in the middle. So you've got to here, there's a top half polished andesite slab this time. Two stone blocks, you should be at the uh, middle center line here. Polished andesite, two stone, one stone slab top half. Uh, four stone blocks. Diagonal with stone again, this time it's one, two, three. Polished andesite, stone, polished andesite. Diagonal again, do polished. Three stone blocks. A top half polished andesite slab. Uh, we need the smooth stone just there. It should be in line with this one down here. And then polished andesite next to that. And then again, just do the uh, the walls one, two, three, four, and then the iron bar in that gap as well. And that's going to be it for layer number, I think we're on 11 now. Um, so let's move on to layer 12. All right, for this one, um, again, we're going to do the column block this time. We're going to do the exact same. So just uh, surround that with the um, thing and then just separate it by uh, one each time again. Basically, just want to get to, to here. Um, so just, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Exact same as last time because we're not actually going outwards um, in this layer. I don't think it's just... Uh, building upwards onto the uh, next layer up. So yeah, just like that. Then we're going to need the smooth stone full block. Now we need a lot of these. I guess this is kind of like a, a, a continuous panel line that goes all the way around um, because it's only smooth stone we need on this layer. We're going to start with the one just here um, and then add four on each side. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we can actually do the same on all four sides. So one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one there, uh, one, two, three, four, and again. So it should be nine in total on each side that you've got so far, like that. Now the next thing is to go diagonal inwards and do three. We'll do that again. There we go, pretty simple stuff. Um, and then diagonal, we just want to do five singular ones on top of the five walls and iron bars that we did last time. And that's literally all you have to do for this layer. Uh, which is a nice, simple one. Um, we like to see that. So there we go. That is uh, the entire layer done. Let's move on up to the next one, which is layer 13. Right, so layer number 13, um, again doing our column block just to keep that going upwards. Um, there, the yellow lines going outwards are the exact same as before. Um, again, because there's a lot of blocks on top of what we've done before. There's also just slight um, like walls and stuff that make it a little bit extra, but yeah. You can do the same thing on top of the ones from last time. I didn't remove them this time around, but um, yeah, it's it doesn't really provide much benefit apart from making sure that obviously you building where you're supposed to be, I guess. Um, but yeah, I will, I will remove both of these lines uh, next layer. Right, so start with, I guess, a smooth stone right at the very front here, just in the middle, right down that center line. Um, and then stone block, polished, two stone, smooth stone, diagonal, normal stone, and then we want the polished underside. Oh wait, hang on. Yeah, stone and then polished underside. Diagonal, uh, stone, 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 stone. So five of those basically. Um, and diagonal again to do a smooth stone and a polished. And then here, there's two stone blocks there. Make it three, four, five. Right down the center line here, there's going to be a polished stone, polished. Three stone blocks, polished and stone. And then we're going to diagonal, one polished, four single stone blocks, two stone blocks here. This layer is pretty easy as well, um, if I'm honest. So stone polished, two stone here, polished, and then we reach the center line. This is going to be four stone blocks, polished stone, two stone blocks there. Um, and then diagonal stone, stone polished, 
stone, stone polished. Stone to the right. I hate saying stone over and over again. One, two, three. Two polish. We're at the center line now. That's one, two, three, four. Smooth stone here. Normal stone block. Stone block polished. Uh, again, doing diagonal stone polished. Uh, stone and then dual polished. Diagonal once more. Smooth stone. Normal. One there. And the second one. Cyan terracotta. Polished andesite and then stone. The last thing you need to do on this layer is grab the andesite walls. Down the center line here. One andesite wall. Two and three. One, two and three. One, two and three. And you get the idea. One, two, three. Okay. So that's layer number 13 done. Let's move on to layer 14. Apologies if you can hear a fly buzzing around. Um, I can't really do anything about that right now. But yeah, on to layer number 14. All right, this one, layer number 14. We go back to the uh, expansion outwards, I guess, of the of the layers. Um, column block, same as. This time, I said I was going to delete these, but I didn't. That's my bad. Um, but yeah, this time we're going to be separating from that main column by a single block before we start counting outwards. And this time it's going to be seven singular ones. Um, so I'll show you that now. Um, so like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it should take you up to the polished andesite just there on the left hand side. Same again. don't think it gets much further out than this I think um, this is pretty much as wide as it gets because we're about three layers away now from doing the sandwich layer of the build um, I think we're only like an hour and maybe 20 minutes in it's actually going quicker than I thought it would but yeah that's what you should have seven singular ones obviously the column right down the middle um, which is what we've got uh, get the smooth stone to start with I'm going to put one just there on top of the andesite walls. Stone block polished. Diagonal stone block polished. Smooth stone. Andesite wall. Um, polished andesite here. Two stone blocks. And then we're going to diagonal. These ones will be floating this time. Um, so polished stone, stone, stone. And then a polished. Um, smooth stone and polished there um, and then there's a polished andesite two stone blocks and then we go outwards on top of these again with a smooth stone down the middle line two stone to the right one stone to the left and one more smooth stone block diagonal inwards polished andesite two stone blocks three stone blocks then we're going to do our diagonals again one stone two polished one stone um, and then three polished here. One polished, two stone, and then again here the center line, that's a stone there, and two polished on the right. Two stone to the left. Um, stone, stone polished. Stone, polished, polished. Diagonal once more. These are two of the polished block and two stone as well. You should have this so far. I know it looks like an absolute mess at the minute, but it will get there eventually. Um, above these blocks here, two stone, one polished. Um, one stone here, one polished in the middle, one stone here. And then once again, we're on these walls. So that's one, two, three, four, and five with the stone blocks. So we're doing the front right side now. And then we can do like the detail blocks. Um, polished, smooth stone, polished. Polished, smooth stone, polished. Diagonal, cyan. Diagonal, polished. Diagonal, cyan. Diagonal, stone. Diagonal, polished. Smooth stone, normal stone. Diagonal, two stone, one cyan. And then to finish this off, there's a polish there and a stone block there. Right. Andesite walls now, we're going to need these. Um, there's going to be one just here and here. 
and again here and here uh, there there as well and lastly there and we've got that one already uh, so you should have one two three four five six seven eight of those and yeah that is gonna do it for that layer let's move on up to the next one all right so this is like the last main kind of layer i guess for the bottom half uh, the next one up is is mostly smooth stone and then we've got the sandwich layer so that's the uh, the kind of hemisphere and the middle of the the death star um just do the the column straight up same as before this time we are going to separate by one each time and we want to have uh, seven separated ones again um at this point in the build like doing this again only really uh, ensures that you basically build in the right place and that you've not kind of tapered in too far or anything like that um so yeah seven singular ones plus the column in the middle um same again so yeah this like i said is the last one that uses quite a few materials um the next one uses smooth stone a lot of like walls and and iron bars and stuff but um nothing nothing too major um and yeah so there we go that's that right so front left to begin with and front as well smooth stone here um then we need a stone block stone block stone block diagonal one two three stone diagonal two stone diagonal one 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 and one this is a polished andesite and a stone diagonal polished andesite two stone and then diagonal smooth stone here above that gap two normal stone one smooth stone down this line here and then polished smooth polished three stone blocks just there two polished andesite one polished andesite stone stone and stone two stone in the row uh two stone in a row again and polished and then diagonal two stone here polished this middle line here is polished and one more polished as well stone here polished there three uh, stone diagonal polished and stone diagonal stone stone polished stone again two more one two three one polished andesite there and then one two three four third one should line up with the line here polished again normal stone diagonal three stone blocks diagonal smooth stone normal stone block diagonal stone stone and this is a cyan stone again polished smooth stone here diagonal stone polished 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 andesite again there stone and then polished andesite taking the andesite walls now we need uh two of them just there and there again uh oh no sorry it's just one there um yeah so in line with this iron um iron bar so yeah one there one here one's gonna go just there and another one is gonna go just here um and then the last thing is just some of the light gray stained glass panes which have we used these yet i don't think so so grab those it's just to mix up the texture of the iron bar a little bit because we use a couple of them in this build i tried to use as few iron uh, bars as i could um so where where i've removed some i've put the uh, light gray stained glass pane instead so one two three of them there three there three there just in line with these walls by the way and three again and that's going to be it for that layer let's move on up to the next one all right for this last layer on the bottom half um i'm just going to copy the temporary blocks from last layer up just one um because not like that because um it's just the same width um it doesn't get any wider than this now so this is the widest point of the build apart from the super laser um so there we go so like i said this layer is mostly smooth stone just do one there um and then three on this side three on that side and we can do that all the way around so it's just seven in a row um you're not going over any extra blocks here or anything like that one two three four five six seven and you're done on that one already um this is three 
two, one, 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 two, and three. So it's literally just on top of all the blocks we did last layer. Um, which is a nice way to cap off this bottom half. Uh, so again, just above every single thing we did last layer, just like that. Then we're going to start with the... We'll do the light grey stained glass panes, get these out of the way. There's... Um, in fact, no, we'll do the andesite walls first. I changed my mind. Um, front left, there's one there, one here, um, and then three there like that. And then again, one here, one here. Again, one, two, one, two, three like that. And then one more just, uh, just there and there as well. Yeah. And then the same on this side, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, and one, two, three. Um, then we will do the iron bars, actually. I'll do the <laughs> light gray stain last panes last. Three iron bars above the uh, panes from last layer, so just like this. On all four sides. Um, there's another one here and here in these gaps. Um, and again, here and here. There, there as well. And just this one and this one. And that's all of the iron bars. Um, we need the light grey stained glass panes. So there's going to be one here next to the iron bars on the edges. Then there's going to be a second one just there. And again, one, one there, one, one there. And just do that on all, all sides really. Um, so there we go. Very simple. And that's it. So that's the bottom half done. Um, the top half is very, very similar, but obviously we've got the super laser in there, which we will just do as part of the layer system. We won't like do it separately or anything. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's going well so far, I think. We're making good time. And uh, yeah, next layer is going to be the, the actual hemisphere. Lots of observers needed, so uh, if you're in survival, get a lot of observers. So yeah, onto that. Okay, so we are now onto the, like the the sandwich layer of the build, kind of the uh, the hemisphere going around the center of the Death Star. Um, we're going to start with, and this is the only materials we need, by the way. The Observer, we need a lot of them. Um, stone brick walls, block of diamond for the pillar or whatever block you've been using, and then the yellow wool as well, or again whichever block you've been using. So one of those there. Um, I think after this point, we might not need to do the the center line anymore. Um, mainly the and, and the uh, bits outwards like this as well. Um, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. But the main reason really was to just kind of ensure that you were building kind of outwards at the right level. Um, whereas when we're building the top side of it, you'll kind of see if you are because there'll be holes if you don't. Um, like if you built sort of like here instead of there, you'd obviously have that that gap. So there you go. Uh, but we'll we'll see what happens after this layer. Um, yeah. So, uh, pillar block same as before, and then four surrounding blocks like this, uh, without a gap this time. And then we're going to do uh, six singular ones. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. And again, two, three, four, five, and six. So you will notice that there... Oh, sorry, that's five. Um... <laughs> You will notice this time there is a gap because the hemisphere does actually kind of jump in by one block with it being obviously a trench. Um, so two, three, four, five, and six. And again, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the way um, you do this, and I actually I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to take another temporary block. I'm going to use the red wall. I'm simply just going to make a line of seven around here. Three, two, one, 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 two, three, and then seven. And just do that the entire way around. So you're just doing a single layer thick and you're not putting anything on the diagonal here. So it's just two, one, 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 two, three. And then again, all the way around, just like this. Apologies if you can hear the rain in the background. There's not much I can do about that with living uh, living in England. It's just uh, part and parcel of of being born here, I guess. 
So yeah, it should look just like this. And then what we're going to do now is place the observers. So starting at the front left, um, there's going to be... And you can do it this way where the arrow on this one is facing forwards if you want. That's fine. Um, and we're just going to do an observer on top of every single one of those blocks that we just did. So four there in total. Um, three. Um, now, it doesn't matter if the, the red thing is facing the front here because it will get covered up. Um, but I'll show you kind of the order that I do them in and which way the arrows are facing. So these uh, three here, the arrows are all facing towards the front. Um, this one's facing towards the front. Um, and then this next one is going to be facing either way, actually, to be fair. This one, it's a kind of middle one. Uh, so you can do that facing towards the front as well. Make sure they're not facing upwards. And then this one is going to face that way. Um, so facing towards that side. And then two of them, three, and then obviously at this side it carries on like that. And then at the back here, um, one, two, three, three, two, one there, one there as well. And then this one again facing outwards like that. Um, next one um, over on this side, you can do it like this, three. Three there, two there, one there, one there, and then these ones can face this way. Just like that. One, two, three, four. And then finally three. Three here, two there, one there, one there, and then these ones face uh, the other way. So two, three, and three there to finish that off. Right, take the stone brick wall. There's just one here. Um, and then one here as well. And then one, two, three, four singular ones like that. One here and one there. Again, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. And finally, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. And that finishes off the hemisphere. You can delete the temporary blocks now. Uh, from under here. I'm going to uh, finish recording for now because of the rain because I don't want that to be present throughout the whole video. Um, you can probably hear it in the background very loudly now. Um, so yeah, I will I will uh, take a little break before before we start the top half. And I, I suggest you do too, with this being a fairly long video. Uh, a little break does always help. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for that one. Let's move on up to the Start of the top half of the Death Star. Uh, it's going to be very similar to this layer here with the smooth stone. So just, yeah, get that ready. Anyway, onto that. Okay, so we're now moving on to the upper dome of the build. Um, in terms of temporary blocks, because most of it is just a mirror of what's down here, I'm not going to do like the, uh, the temporary lines unless I feel it's necessary. Um, for this one, I don't because we are just doing basically this layer here with a very slight difference. And I'll tell you what that is in a second. But I'm going to add the pillar block just on the middle anyway, just so we can obviously keep track of what layer we're on. It's, it's just a, a thing I'm doing for this build for some reason. Um, materials wise, smooth stone, andesite wall, iron bars, and light gray stained glass pane. Um, that's all you'll need for this one, um, other than the uh, obviously temp temporary block in the middle. Um, so yeah, we'll just essentially um, work from what, what was down here in terms of width. So for the front uh, right here, we're just going to do the, oh sorry, front left, just one there, two, three, four, um, and then three. We're literally just doing what was down on the layer below, um, below the hemisphere here. Um, so just copying that up basically, um, and then same on this very front bit, and just do that all the way around. Uh, deleted a wall there, oops. Three, two, one, 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 two there three here and then yeah just bring this all the way around uh, just like this obviously as we go forwards now it will get easier each layer and uh, because we're building back inwards now um, so we have basically done the hardest part of the build and um, the only difference is going to be the super laser um, dish um, and we do actually start that on this layer so taking the andesite walls now just same again as before, three there, one, one, and just, yeah, all the way around, same thing. 
is what's on this layer. Pretty simple stuff so far. Um, so yep, yeah, there as well. One, two, three, one there, one there. And then we've done this one already. And then same again with the iron bars and the light gray stained glass panes. So yeah, iron bars there and there. One, two, three, one here, one here. One, two, three, one, not there, um, there and there. Three again, and we've done the rest of them. And then the light gray uh, glass panes, one, two there, one, one there, one, and one again, and just keep doing that. And I'll show you in a second where the start of the super laser is. Uh, so that's all of them, I think. So take the smooth stone. This is the front side here, obviously, with the with the green line and the arrows and everything. And obviously, make sure you do it on the right side. Three smooth stone blocks along the middle line like this. So yeah, that's the center line. If you want three there, you should have a gap of two here and here. That's like the very bottom of the super laser dish. And that's only on this side, so it's not on any of those. Just that one. So yeah, um, that is going to be it for that layer. Let's move on up to the next one. All right, starting this one off um, at the left side here. In fact, I'm just going to quickly uh, put one of those there. There we go. Materials-wise, um, you will need the stone, polished andesite, cyan, and smooth stone again. Lime-stained glass for the super laser itself. Obviously, if you don't want it firing, you can just remove all lime-stained glass from this build. Um, you'll see the super laser start to take shape soon, but... Yeah, if, if you don't want it, just don't add the lime stained glass. And the site wall stained brick slab polished and the site slab and light grey stained glass paint are going to return on this layer as well. So front left here, um, again kind of working from what's down there um, in terms of the, the thickness and stuff. You start with the polished and the site on this uh, kind of middle front uh, left side, I guess. Uh, same, uh, well, in line with that basically. Um, and this is, yeah, the left side. So one polished andesite there, two stone, one polished, diagonal, two polished, one stone, diagonal polished, and stone next to it, diagonal, four stone like that, polished and a cyan, and then a stone, smooth stone, polished, and then this time, this is where it changes again because of the super laser, two smooth stone here, one polished andesite just there. Behind the smooth stone, that's five polished andesite. So one, two, three, four, five. And that middle one should be on your center line. Then there should be another smooth stone here. Sorry if you can hear a cat in the background. Uh, another smooth stone just there. In this gap here, you want to take the stone brick slabs two on the left and then a polished andesite slab on the right. Lime stained glass just down the center line here. And that's the very first uh, part of the super laser. Do a polished andesite block just here, so it should mirror the one over there as well. Um, and then we're going to come back to that because I'm going to follow the same kind of order of doing front left, back left, uh, and then... I can't remember what order I did. Was it back right and then front right, I think? So yeah, let's do that. Um, two stone here, one polished. Two polished, one stone. Two stone, one polished. Then alternating stone, polished stone, polished stone again. This is three polished andesite here, and then seven stone along the back row. Three stone above those, two, and then one polished. Two stone, one polished. Two polished, one smooth stone, just there. Polished stone, two stone, Polished, polished, polished. That middle one should be down your center line. Smooth stone, normal stone. Two polished and a stone. Stone and a polished. Double stone, cyan terracotta. Polished andesite. Two polished again. Stone, polished stone. Okay. Right, taking the andesite walls now. We just need four of them, I think. Um, one there, so it's obviously the same as what we've got down below. There as well, uh, there as well, and one final one just here. 
and then light gray stained glass pane on the furthest point outwards three of those on the three sides that don't include the super laser so like that okay there we go pretty simple stuff let's move on up to the next one all right this next one up we are once again going to be uh, just building out as far as this point I'm just going to put the column block there um, and then this is a polished andesite just down this center line here obviously front of the build is there back of the builds that way so this is the left hand side so one polished second one going towards the front left again stone block this time we're going to diagonal before we reach that last one two stone polished diagonal again one stone there two polished then diagonal polished stone 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 polished say on here on top of the uh, one from before and then a single smooth stone full block um, and then again just for the super laser side one smooth stone here a lime stained glass just there with a smooth stone behind it we will need to add stone brick stairs to the materials uh, where are they there they are stone brick stairs is going to go next to the smooth stone polished on the side behind that two stone blocks one polished and that should take you down the center line here two stone uh, come on there we go <laughs> one polished again stone brick stairs and then we're going to come back to that in a second um, when we've done the rest of this stone block here uh, polished diagonal and do a stone polished stone diagonal two polished one stone polished at a diagonal stone stone polished two stone here sorry no two polished there and one stone uh, two stone here and one polished and then two with your polished andesite three stone there okay round into the other side and um, there's a polished times three diagonal stone times three diagonal polished stone polished stone three stone here stone polished and stone again stone block polished stone polished stone in fact that last one is a smooth stone sorry diagonal again a three stone here diagonal this time it's a cyan smooth stone and stone block diagonal stone polished cyan stone two stone here and a polished and then we have reached the super laser again we're going to do the walls quickly get these out of the way there's one there um just next to those two smooth stone blocks there's another one just here there as well another one here one there another one just here another one there and then the final one is going to be just there as well lime stained glass here smooth stain behind it in fact that's not right um there's a polished andesite there then the lime stained glass and then the smooth stain goes there okay right next thing is to just uh put another lime stained glass kind of a diagonal to that one which is what we've got and yeah i think that's everything so let's move on up to the next one okay so for this one i am actually going to do the measuring blocks because we do taper inwards a little bit um so we're going to put the column blocks same there as before um i'm going to take our temporary block we're going to surround it directly next to the column this time then on the left we're going to add six singular ones so one two three four five and six one two three four five six one two three four five and six then on the front we're just going to add four of them so one two three and four which should take you to there right taking the stone block here one down the center line one to the right 
polished andesite to the right, two more stone and another polished. Diagonal stone polished. We are going to take the andesite walls and I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five, and six of those. We can use them now to place these blocks. There's going to be a stone, 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 stone. Polished, polished. Smooth stone here. Diagonal outwards and do one smooth stone. Stone brick stairs is going to go here, so it's kind of uh, just tapering up from the one before. Polished andesite there. Diagonal outwards, well, towards the center actually. Do a stone block, polish, stone, polish, stone. One more polished, and we're going to leave that there for now. Um, can take a lime uh, stained glass. You kind of want it just there. I think it's just a diagonal to that one. Um, yeah. So we'll do the same over here, actually, so I don't have to use the lime stained glass on that bit. Um, so moving to the back here, grab the andesite walls once more. There's one, two, three. Add an extra stone. Um, three more stone polished. Two stone here. And then again, six andesite walls at a diagonal. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is stone. One, two, three. Polished, polished. And then two stone there. Polished here. Stone again, one, two, three. Polished, one, two. Um, is it? Wait, hang on. Oh, yeah. One, two, and the second one should take you to the middle line. Three, four. Stone, polished stone. Three andesite walls along the back. Um, stone, andesite here. And then, once again, six andesite walls. This is a polished stone, stone, polished, stone, stone, polished to the right, smooth stone here, normal, polished, normal, polished again, stone here, that should be along your line, once again, smooth stone, and then three more stone blocks, three andesite walls. Cyan, smooth stone, again, six diagonal uh, andesite walls. Cyan, stone, polished, polished, stone again, and then two stone here. Diagonal outwards, polished andesite. There's a polished andesite stair this time instead of a stone brick one. That's going to go just facing this way. Polished there. Diagonal again, and that's just another polished underside. We are going to take the lime stained glass um, and just do another diagonal one upwards like that. You can see we're building, building upwards now. Well, we, we have been building upwards this entire time. I mean, the super laser part. <laughs> um, yeah, that's everything, I think. Uh, one... There, one there, one there, yeah. Cool, let's move on up to the next one. All right, this one is just smooth stone, so we're gonna um, just use that, obviously. One's gonna go here on top of this stone block. I've kept the, the measurement for now, it's it's fine, we'll get rid of that next layer. Um, four on either side, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Diagonal, three. And then five sets of diagonal stones like that. Three smooth stone here. Diagonal inwards and do a polished andesite. Diagonal inwards and do two smooth stone. Um, and then we're going to come back to that. In fact, I'm just going to add one more thing. Diagonal, smooth stone, polished andesite. Um, so back to here. Diagonal, three, one, 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 one. Three. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Obviously, the, the fifth one should be on your center line. Um, three, one, 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 three, and you get the picture, just carry that on like that. 
uh, and then polish there, two smooth stone here, and diagonal, and that meets with that. So on the right hand side here, it's going to be a polished andesite stair, and then we actually need the normal andesite stairs here as well, um, just like that, facing the other way. So in terms of uh, the the laser itself, we are just going to use a temporary. I'm going to use the cyan terracotta for now, just because I can't be bothered to get anything else out. Um, Go to these smooth stones here next to the stairs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then this is two lime stained glass. Like that. And then this one is just another lime stained glass at a diagonal to the rest of them. So you should essentially have this so far. Okay. And that's going to be it for that layer. Let's move on up to the next one. All right, okay, for this one, we don't need the the temporary blocks we're just gonna um, just build from what we've got down here um, so you can see that that smooth stone line we just did kind of matches the one down here um, and you can see down below the next layer up or, well down is is just below that so then obviously we do the same here um, so there's a stone block just there polished andesite stone block stone slab next to this stone one two three four first one behind that stone slab um we're going to take the polish uh, sorry the <laughs> i wish there was polished on the side walls but there's not normal on the side walls one two iron bar one two and then using the back of those stone polished stone stone polished and then diagonal once more we're going to do stone again okay um Oh, hang on, wait, I've done that completely wrong. So delete that first andesite wall, put it there, add an iron bar here, and then add another uh, andesite wall. Um, and then there is another stone block just there. Smooth stone block here. Polished, two polished there, one polished here, and then just grab that stone brick stairs and add it just there in that gap. I believe that's actually the, I don't know, I think that might be the very center of the the dish, uh, dish section, but because it's at an angle, it's um, it's not the halfway point, which doesn't make much sense. I don't know why I said it, but it is true. <laughs> I think that's like very close to the center of the actual dish. Let's just put it that way. Um, yeah, anyway, so grabbing the lime stained glass, we are going to add one just here next to the smooth stone block. Diagonal inwards, do a second one there. Um, and then if we just use a temporary block, we we'll use this cyan terracotta again. Do another diagonal inwards, and then diagonal again, two more lime stained glass. Do another one there to join up with that side, and delete these two. So you can just see that it's basically converged the laser into that center point there. And this one that we're building up here will also kind of join into that. And then there's two up above, which will also join into it. Um, so yeah, that's the front left side. Uh, grabbing the stone block again, one here. Smooth stone. And then we also need the smooth stone slab. One there. Three stone blocks, one smooth stone. Diagonal and do a stone block here. And then we're going to take those walls and uh, iron bars again. I'm going to put the cyan away for now, actually, just so we've got a bit more room. Um, so andesite walls, one, two. Iron bars, one, two. In terms of the diagonal blocks, we are going to do a polished one, two. Stone block, smooth stone block, then a polished block there. Stone, one, two, three, four. Stone slab there. Polished andesite, stone, stone. That second stone should be in line with the center. Polished stone block here. Stone brick slab. One, two stone blocks and a sm uh, smooth stone. Normal stone block, diagonal polished. And then again, andesite walls, one, two. Bars, wall, wall. Stone block one, two, three, 
and full, and then on the right of this andesite wall, it's a polished andesite. Stone block, smooth stone, polished smooth stone, and a polished andesite slab just there. So we're onto the right hand side now. Stone block one, two, three, and four, and the third one should be on this line. Polished stone slab, two stone, smooth stone here, and a polished stone here at a diagonal. And then again with the walls and the iron bar, just like that. Stone, stone, polished, sorry, no smooth stone there. No, it is a uh, it is a polished and then it's a smooth stone. Stone block. Um, wait, hang on. Ah, okay, no, that one's a polished. That one's a smooth stone. Stone block here. This is a polished. Stone block here, smooth stone here. And then we want to do the limestone glass there and a second one just there as well. And then polished. Two polished, one there. Okay, it's all coming together now. And obviously we're building upwards and it's getting somewhat easier each layer. Um, still a while to go. Like, I think we're about uh, a third of the way up this top half. But yeah, we'll um, delete these temporary blocks in a minute as well. Um, we might need to do some more. But not like every layer like we did down at the bottom, which is something... On the inside, you can see there's like just so much going on. It's, it's a real mess in here. Um, and you're welcome to add stuff in here. I know in the past, um, I've done like interiors for some of the Fleet Wars stuff. Like I did the um, interior for the Venator and I did the interior for the Star Destroyer. Couldn't really think of like a good thing to put in here. I didn't want to overcomplicate it. Um, I think the Death Star is just the Death Star. I am like considering doing some scene um, mocks like the hangar that the Millennium Falcon goes in in A New Hope um, and maybe even a trash compactor room so maybe something you know similar from the Death Star as well um, like a control room I could you know do that in the future but for this build unfortunately not um, it's definitely just a display object for you know the sky or whatever in your in your Minecraft world but yeah let's move on up to the next layer um, which uh, I don't even know which layer we're on anymore, but you know, we get, it's about 20 something. So yeah, let's let's uh, move on to that. Okay, so on to the next one. I realized, by the way, I forgot to com like completely forgot to do the uh, the pillar on the last two layers, which uh, is not good. So I'm gonna add three of those uh, just to keep that going. For some reason, I don't know why. Well, we use it sometimes for the for the uh, other temporary blocks, which we are actually gonna use on this one. Um, so this time the pillar is on its own, nothing surrounding it. Um, but we are going to add ones like separated. So one there, and we want to do six of them again. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Should just take you like one block short of of the uh, of the edge. Uh, oh yeah, on the front, only four of them, which I've done four, which is fine. Um, and then on the back, six again. I think building this top half is a bit more interesting because it's not, you know, the entire circle. We've got like the, the super laser parts which um, do break it up a little bit. I know this build is incredibly um, boring. Like, I won't lie, it's it's not fun for anyone. <laughs> um, but to do a Death Star, that's kind of just what you have to do. Like, I, cu I couldn't really think of another way to do it while capturing the same level of detail. Um, so yeah, I think it's just one of those builds you kind of have to just get yeah, grit your teeth and get through it. Um, so I do, I do apologise. Um, please try not to leave comments saying like you, you're so boring, because I know for this video I know <laughs> that, that it is. Um, so yeah, it's just the way it is. Anyway, um, front left stone block, then polish on the side, so you kind of tapering in a little bit there. Three stone polished. Dangle inwards. Um, I want to do an andesite stairs just facing that way, which should line up with the set of stairs down here, which it does. Um, not the same type of stair, but it's it's fine. That's part of the texture and detail. Polished there, stone block, um, and then diagonal stone one, two. 
stone block here and here and you also want the stone brick stairs facing that way stone block here smooth stone block here diagonal inwards and there's a polished underside diagonal inwards and there's two stone blocks diagonal inwards here and there's two polished underside and we're going to leave that at that point we are also going to add stone brick stairs upside down just there okay and actually while we're here we will add the other stair which is a, a normal andesite one and that's just going to go here like that and you might as well put a stone block just on that side but we'll uh, we'll do the rest of that when we get to the uh, front right of the build um so yeah that's the front left we are now going to do the three andesite walls just here obviously starting over on this side and um, we need a stone block smooth stone three polished diagonal smooth stone here andesite stairs and then we are going to take the polished and stone diagonal two polished one smooth stone here stone block there um andesite stairs just here polished on the site there diagonal stone polished stone smooth stone polished and then two normal stone and just quickly grab the andesite walls that's one two three um and those obviously should be down your center line two polished one stone one smooth stone diagonal polished andesite stairs here stone polished polished stone um have i done that right maybe i think so so yeah two two stone here one there and site stairs just here uh smooth stone normal stone smooth stone polished polished stone here takes the the center line kind of Stone again, polished, smooth, stone, smooth. Three walls there. And site, uh, polished, and a stone brick stairs. Two stone, one stone, smooth stone here. Two polished. This is a single polished and site stairs. Just going to go facing that way. Stone block, smooth stone. Diagonal inwards and do the polished. Diagonal inwards do the polished again. Stone block here. All right. Great. Now, taking the temporary block, uh, we'll, we'll use this one, you know, just for consistency, I guess. Come to this andesite, well, polished andesite here. Come out by four. There's a lime stained glass there. Diagonal. Diagonal again and do two. So it should look like this. On this side, same again, come to this polished here. One, two, three, four. One, diagonal inwards, diagonal inwards, and do two. So it should look like this. Okay. Great. Uh, that's going to be it for that one, I think. So just checking I've done all the stairs. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Great. Yeah, let's move on to the next one. All right, so for this one, I'm not going to use a, uh, a temporary thing or anything. Um, I'm just going to put the column block there. Uh, in fact, we can get rid of that if we're not doing the uh, temporary thing. Don't need the cyan for this one. That's fine. So we'll just keep these ones. Um, right, start with the stone block down the center line here on the left um, front side. Two and three with the stone polished stone brick slab behind the stone brick slab two stone and then we will need the stone slab two stone diagonal polished diagonal stone diagonal stone diagonal polished another stone here stone brick slab in front smooth stone there and then we need an upside down stone brick stairs just here polished on the side behind 
Then with the stone block, one, polished stone, and then polished on the side down the center line, and then two, three, just there to finish that off. That's what I meant about this being the very center point of the of the uh, dish, by the way. Like you can see, that's where it's the most concave part of it. Um, I just didn't explain it very well, which is kind of what usually happens. <laughs> polished smooth stone, polished here, polished underside slab, two stone, polished underside slab, with a full block behind it, stone to the left, diagonal stone, diagonal stone again, diagonal smooth stone here, diagonal two polished underside with a slab there, two stone here with a polished slab there, stone block, smooth, polished underside, stone block down your center line, polished again, stone, stone, polished slab, stone block here and a smooth stone, polished there, two stone blocks here, diagonal inwards, polished, stone, stone, stone again, and a second one, stone brick slab there, smooth stone polished, stone slab there, smooth stone, two stone blocks here, polished down your center line, stone block, polished smooth stone, polished again, stone block smooth, polished slab again, two polished here, diagonal, stone, smooth stone, stone, smooth stone, and then a secondary stone block. Stone slab here, stone block, upside down, stone brick stairs, polished there, and stone block there. Last thing to do for this layer, we're going to take the temporary block, come to the center line here, and we are going to do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Obviously, just leaving that one gap in the middle. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so it's nine. Lime stained glass, one, two, and then just do one here and delete it like that. And there we go. And that's it for that layer. Let's move on up to the next one. All right, on this one, we will be doing it the temporary block stack again. Um, so just one of those there. We can take our other temporary. Um, this time we're going to surround it. And it's five singular blocks. So one, two, three, four, and five. Again, you should fall just one short of the, of the last layer. Um, well, too short technically, but yeah, you, you get the idea. One, two, three, four, and five. Now on the front, you just need three singular ones. So one, two, and three. Okay, um, pop, uh, polish on the side. Stone polished, stone again, stone brick slab there. Two stone, stone brick slab. Two stone again, diagonal polished, diagonal stone, diagonal polished, single stone block there, stone slab here, stone block there, smooth stone, upside down stone brick stairs just there as well. You can see the um, stairs here to kind of taper up and around and then those ones are going back up, making the dish shape, polished diagonal outwards towards the back again. Polished, stone, polished, stone, polished. Obviously, we've crossed the center line, but it's fine. Um, you can also just add another polish there. And maybe, actually, while we're there, andesite stairs, just here. Then we don't need to um, use the stairs again on this layer. There we go. Get the iron bars out. And uh, we don't need the smooth stone slab, so it's fine. Um, okay. All right. Uh, so back to here, two stone, one polished, stone brick slab, two stone, one polished slab, two polished, diagonal polished, diagonal stone, diagonal two stone, 
uh, polished and the site slab here. Two stone stonework slab here. And a full stone block. Smooth stone and then five of the stone blocks. So the second one should be on your center line. Polish there. Uh, slab, sorry. Uh, stone block, polished, and a polished. Uh, let me rephrase that. So stone block, smooth stone, and then a polished slab. Stone, polished again, diagonal, one, two singulars. Again, and a polished andesite. Polished slab next to it. Stone polished. Normal stone slab next to it. Smooth stone here. Three polished. Should take you to the uh, center block. Two stone and a polished. Brick slab. Stone. Smooth stone. Brick slab. Stone polished. Diagonal stone. Diagonal polished. Diagonal smooth stone. Single stone here. Stone slab there. Stone. Smooth stone. Uh, and then iron bars on each of the edges here. The three center blocks. Apart from the front one, obviously. This time, we don't need any temporary blocks. We can get rid of the uh, other ones as well that we've used. We're not too far off like the rest of the super laser being done. So there's a single... Uh, what is this? Uh, lime stained glass. <laughs> um, I'm just checking something actually. Uh, yeah, no, it's fine. It's a single lime stained glass there and there on top of those stairs. Diagonal inwards and do three. Diagonal inwards and do two. Diagonal inwards, do three. And then for the very center here, two more like that. So you can see they've pretty much all joined together. I think there's one more to come at the top. But yeah, that's kind of the joining point for most of them. Um, so yeah, we're getting fairly close now. I think we've got like six layers to go. Something like that. Um, so yeah, let's move on up to the next one. Uh, so yeah. Alright, for this one, um, I'm not going to use the temporary blocks apart from that one. Um, let start on this left hand side here. We're going to just get the stairs out of the way. I think would be an easy way to do it. Um, so on this center block here on the left side, there's a stair, polished andesite stair. On the left of it, a polished stair. And on the right, a polished, uh, a normal andesite stair. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead there. Um, we could do the stairs on the back, I suppose, and the, and the uh, right hand side. Two stairs there and a stone brick. I had like a system going for you do the um, front left, back left, back right, front right. This one, I'm completely breaking that tradition, but it's fine. Um, two stone brick stairs there and an andesite one here. The only reason I've done that is just so I can like, get rid of these for the rest of this layer. Um, I want to just focus on these materials. Uh, plus, it's a good way to know kind of that when you're doing the angles and the curves around that you join in into the right place. Um, so we will do the front left now. Stone block there down the center line. Um, one, two extra smooth stone. Stone brick slab. Stone behind it. Polished um, stone slab. Polished behind it. Stone block. Diagonal stone block. Diagonal stone block again. And polished. Stone slab in front. Stone block here. And then smooth stone, we're going to do one, two, and three. Stone brick slab, one. Stone slab, another one. Stone brick slab, uh, no, sorry. Stone brick slab again, there we go. Polished on the site, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now I'm going to do this and get this out of the way before we go any further. Because I'm trying to remember the amount of each. But take the temporary block and we're going to add... From this very center line here, one, two, three, four, five. Lime stained glass, one, two, three, four, five. Temporary blocks, one, two, and then one, two, three lime stained glass like that. You can delete those and put those away. Um, so yeah, I just needed to 
know how many of those there were. So that line here is going to join up to the next layer because it joins to the final um, focusing beam. I don't know what you call it, but yeah, this the how many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them, I think. So that's that'll be the final one. Um, where were we at? Okay, so there's another stone block um, just there, so in the middle of those smooth stones. And then you need the smooth stone slab. Alright, we can come back to this side now. Um, stone block here, polished stone, stone slab. Two polished there, stone brick slab. Two stone here, diagonal stone, diagonal polished, stone block here, stone brick slab. Two stone blocks, stone slab, polished smooth stone, and then this should take you up to where the stairs are. Stone, polished stone, polished stone again, brick slab, stone polished, polished slab, two stone here, diagonal stone, diagonal polished, stone here, polished slab, stone polished, Polish slab. <laughs> I'm fed up with the sound of my voice now. <laughs> Smooth stone here. Three stone blocks. Polished andesite. We're nearly nearly at the end now. You have to hear it much longer. Um, stone block. Smooth stone. Stone slab. Stone block. Smooth stone. Polished slab. Stone stone. Smooth stone at a diagonal. Diagonal again. Smooth stone. And then a polished andesite. Polished slab next to it. Two more polished andesite. Stone brick slab next to it. Polished andesite here. And then two more smooth stone blocks. And that does it for that layer. We're getting very, very close now. Um, so let's move on up to the next one. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna do something a little bit um, different. So you can see we've got the kind of corner here with the lime uh, stained glass. Um, first of all, we're just gonna go back to here. Add one there. And then two, three, four, five. That finishes off the final beam. Um, and then we're actually going to make the kind of the focused version of the beam now. You've got the set of three here. We're going to add a, another set of three at diagonal. Wait for that to, to load in. There we go. So that's two sets of three. Obviously just past the, where this corner is. One, two sets of three. And then three sets of three, four sets of three, five sets of three. Okay, and you can throw that away now because we're done with it. That's literally it for the rest of the build. Um, I just wanted to get the, the beam done and, and obviously out of the way. Now we can uh, continue with what we were doing, which is just a standard building now. Um, for this one, I don't know if we need the the lines. Um, we will obviously have the, the column block. Don't forget that. Um, we will put away... I don't think we can put anything away actually. We're just going to get the stone, uh, brick stairs, polished stairs, and the andesite stairs back. On this center line on the left, there's a stone brick slab in the middle, a stair in the middle, andesite stairs, stone brick stairs, and then to the left, andesite stairs, and then polished stairs. And while we're at it, actually, we'll do it on the other sides, like we did the last layer, just so we can get rid of the stairs, focus on the slabs and the full blocks. So on this uh, middle line on the back, there's polished andesites there in the middle. Andesites there, and then a polished there. To the left, two stone brick stairs. On this side, polished in the middle. Two on the front, both polished. Andesite, and polished on the back. Put those away now. We'll go, grab that slab back. Right. So, full blocks here, down this center line on the left, stone, polished stone, smooth stone here. Oh no, there's more stairs, I didn't realize. <laughs> Get the polished underside ones back. Oh well, I did try. To try and make it simpler, but never mind. There's a polished stair there, um, two polished blocks here, polished slab, stone block, polished slab again, stone block. Stone brick slab, stone block, stone brick slab again, um, and then two stone blocks here, 
This is a stone brick stairs. Two stone blocks here. And then three smooth stone. Um, back to this side, stone block here. This is a polished stone block. Polished stairs. Behind it, stone polished block. Stone slab. Stone block brick slab. Stone block um, polished slab. Polished block. Polished slab. And then stone block and polished. This is a andesite stairs, just facing that way. Smooth stone block here. Stone block, stone block, polish down your center line. Three stone blocks here. Uh, polish stairs facing the front. Two stone blocks, polish slab, polish block, uh, stone brick slab, polish block. Stone slab, polish block again. Um, and then stone slab again. Just there. Two stone blocks. And then the andesite stairs. Smooth stone here. Five stone blocks. Smooth stone here. Andesite stairs facing the front. No, to the middle, sorry. Stone polished stone brick slab, polished stone slab, smooth stone, polished slab, polished andesite block, polished slab, two stone, and then this is a stone brick stair just here, smooth stone block, polished block, and there we go, that does it for that layer, that was a horrible layer, um, let's <laughs> move on up to the next one again. Right, for this one we're going to do the stairs again. This time I think we can just do them all at once. Um, I won't forget some of them like I did last time. The um, the top dome is, is symmetrical again, so we stopped doing all the super laser stuff. That's all out of the way now, um, because obviously we've done the entire beam. Um, polished andesite stairs on the front here for the center three. We're going to do the, the stairs again, just to start off with. Um, here down the center line, there's a polished andesite stair on the left, stone brick stair on the right. On this one at the back, there's a andesite stair in the middle. Andesite stair on the left, stone brick stair on the right. Then on the left, uh, right hand side, sorry, stone brick stair in the middle. One towards the front, and andesite stairs towards the back. Put those away. Uh, ooh, we'll also need the cyan terracotta again for this layer. Stone block down the center line here. Polished uh, stone block again. Smooth stone. Polished slab. Behind it, stone polished. Diagonal polished. Diagonal stone. Diagonal polished again. Smooth stone here. Smooth stone slab. Two stone blocks, one polished block, one stone block to mark the center line. We'll move to the back now. Stone, smooth, stone, slab, two stone here, diagonal, stone, diagonal, polished, diagonal, stone by two, stone brick slab, smooth stone, stone block, polished, stone block here down your center line, stone block again, two cyan, polished slab, stone block, polished, diagonal, stone, stone, Smooth, stone block here, and a stone slab. Smooth, stone, polished, stone, polished, stone, polished. Stone slab there. Stone polished, diagonal stone, 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 second polish here. Polished slab, smooth stone normal stone times two. And once again that does it for that layer let's move on up to the next one. All right let's uh, start this off we're closing a lot of this in now um, it's not too difficult from this point forwards. Taking the smooth stone slab first of all we're just gonna go around the edges here add three three 
three and three. Take the stone block down this center line here. One, just like that. Uh, two and three, smooth stone, stone slab, um, diagonal, do a polished slab, diagonal, polished, polished, and then smooth stone slab diagonal again. Stone block here, polished, smooth stone, down the center line, stone block, smooth stone again. Okay. Now this layer is a little bit different, um, kind of like what we did down here, it's a, a bit thicker, whereas all the other ones have kind of been outlines, um, but we'll we'll do the thickness now. Um, so there is a stone block just there, two polished underside, polished stone, 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 stone and stone again, and then one smooth stone here and another stone there. Okay, simple enough. To the left here, stone block, smooth stone, stone and block again. Uh, this is a stone slab. Behind it, polished block. To the side, polished slab. Polished block behind, slab there, stone. Um, stone block just here. Stone brick slab. Stone block, stone slab. Smooth stone here polished stone block there and then cyan down the center line plus a second cyan there as well then we'll just fill in the thickness parts um, there's two stone blocks here one there one here one there as well smooth stone block single stone block there okay then now we move on to the back right one two three four with the stone polished there I guess we're doing the thickness on this one at the same time, whatever. Stone slab, stone slab just there as well. Um, stone block one, two. Smooth stone block one, two. Stone block one, two. Smooth stone block one, two. And we'll put the slabs on now. Uh, I guess we're doing the verse order. Stone slab, stone slab, smooth stone slab here. Okay. Polish there, stone there. Two stone blocks, one polished. That second stone block should be in the middle line. Stone block polished. Um, three stone blocks here. Polished there, stone to the right. Polished there, smooth stone to the right. Stone there, polished to the right. Stone there, smooth stone to the front here. And polished underside here, stone there. That's easier than doing the slabs first, actually. I'm going to do it that way. Um, although I guess it's a little bit late now because we're <laughs> nearly done. Stone slab here, stone brick slab, stone slab, polished and polished slab again. And that's it for that one. We are incredibly close. We're on layer 30 now, I think. Um, so oh, I forgot to do the column on this one. There we go. So yeah, there's 33 layers total. Um, 31 and 32 will be full block layers and then 33 is half a block, I believe. So, yeah. Anyway, that's uh, going to be it for that one. So, let's move on up to the next layer. All right, for this one, I'm actually going to use the temporary block here. I'm going to start by adding a column block. I don't know why I've just done that. That was really silly. Um, we're just going to add four. Like that. Surrounding the column. Um, and then two polished underside on each one. Just like that. Okay. Right. Um, I guess we can do the the slabs again. So two stone brick slabs here facing towards the front left. Um, and then a polished underside slab there. These should just be hovering in the air. They shouldn't be um, on top of the previous layers blocks. That one's a stone brick slab with smooth stone slabs on the sides. The right hand side one is a stone slab with a polished slab at the front, stone brick slab at the back. And then the back one here is a stone brick slab with stone slabs on the sides of it. Um, right, taking the smooth stone block, we'll need a fair few of these. There's going to be two here, so we're doing the front left first. Two, three here, two there, and one. 
Then we want to do a polished andesite here and here. Add a stone slab there. Taking the smooth stone again. One, two, three. Uh, three of them here and two there. Stone slab there. On this side, two, three, two and one. Stone brick slab here. Um, and then just switch that smooth stain for that block because I did it wrong. Polished on the site there and there. Smooth stone, one, two, three. Three there and two here. Um, and then this is a polished on site slab. Back right now. Two, three, two and one. Stain brick slab here. Polished and polished. Um, two here, three there, like that. Uh, if I make it four, see so yeah, it is that. Um, and then two, stain brick slab. And the front side, two, three, two, one. Stain slab there, polished, polished. Um, this time. In fact, yeah, that's that one here is not a polished, it's a cyan. So you're going to put cyan there and there. Smooth stone, you want to take and do one, two, and one. Two more cyan. And then two more smooth stone in this gap. And then just in this slab here, it's a polished andesite one. You should be left with this gap here at the top, which we are going to delete these temporary blocks now. And uh, yeah, we are going to be on the, the final section now, I think. So but yeah, let's go. All right, so the final section here, um, we are going to just add another, well, the final of the column blocks. Um, take the smooth stone slab, put one on top of it, and then just surround it like that. So obviously we jumped up a layer sort of, but it's fine. Take the cyan, we're going to go here, and then basically want to do like three on each side, but not the corners. So just like that. Polished on the side, we're going to put one there, here, there, here, there, and there, and there, and there. And then the polished on the side slab on the one next to these edges. Right, taking the smooth stone, two there, two there, two there, two there, two, two, two again, two again. <laughs> My voice is just starting to go, which is really convenient because of where we are at in the build. Smooth stain slab just to cover these gaps up. And there we go. We have built our first Death Star. I, I meant that in two ways, like the first one we've done, but also it is, you know, the first Death Star. Let's put the shaders on, do a quick post build showcase, and then I'm going to get to editing this. It's going to be a nightmare, but, you know. The things we do for the for the channel. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad this is this is uh, been done. It's obviously a really iconic thing. Um, it doesn't look good in the shaders in in most. Well, not in most cases. In some cases, it doesn't. Um, I think when it's up in the sky and stuff, it it does look a lot better. But um, yeah, you know, it's a pretty pretty detailed build. Obviously symmetrical in like no dimensions, which is something I don't do very often. Um, and yeah, I think the super laser looks a lot better with shaders on, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, maybe I will do the Death Star 2 at some point. Obviously, that's going to be even more of a mammoth than this one is because uh, it is larger and also it will be even more asymmetrical with all the uh in construction bits, but it'll make it more interesting at least um, than this one. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what you think. Um, I apologize again that it's been a, a very repetitive and just annoying tutorial but you know i can't really do much about that but i think the end product is nice and something that um you can definitely like i said put in the sky of your world and show off to your friends or something um so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next video have a great day and goodbye Hey guys, before the video ends, I just wanted to let you know about my new schematic store. This is a place where you can download builds from the past, from tutorials that are out now, and even preview builds from the future. 
Link is in the description. Go and have a look, see if there's anything you like. And yeah, see ya.